Good day, this is Zombidicus. Um, today I'm doing a, a few reviews of my new fountain pens. I just recently got into the hobby and picked up a couple of Mommy Safari pens and then I decided I, I want something a little higher up the level here. So I already done a video on my Lamy Scala and I'm going to be the next video is going to be about my Lamy Studio. But we're going to talk about the um, the stepchild of the Lamy family. Uh, these are Lamy Aeon pens. They're lovely pens, uh, very modern, sleek, minimalistic pens, but not as appreciated as a studio, even though I think they offer a better value at a similar, at a similar price point. Uh, but from my understanding, um, the line has been discontinued. Uh, these are um, um, limited edition colors. The uh, base colors are a black finish and an olive silver one, which is pretty much a silver or stainless steel color uh, version of this pen. And then these two, the red and the blue, which are limited editions. And from my understanding, that's it. I don't think they're going to be um, any more of these. Now, the pens do come with their own Lamy Aeon nib, but for whatever reason, I don't have an Aeon nib on this. I have to double check. Um, this one has a regular Lamy medium nib, and I can't remember did I switch the nib or did it come that way? I'm gonna have to go back and, uh, and check because I think I've got pictures of it. But uh, this is a regular Lamy me medium nib, so ew. Um, it still writes fine. But I think one of the one of the neat things about this is it came with its own nib, which is actually very smooth. So anyway, these pens, um, aluminum, aluminum section, aluminum body, the um, threads, screw them out. You can like see here, they're actually brass, I believe, not plastic like you would get on the studio, which is one of the reasons why I prefer this to the studio. Um, it's a very comfortable pen. Um, very minimal, you know. There's no, uh, there's no uh, end cap. There's no finial. It's just a pen. Oops, let's put that down here. Spring loaded clip. See here, uh, Lamy engraved on the pen. So it has a nice uh, polished edge to it. So it's not a lot of features. It's just. Um, it's a it's a very nice pen with not a lot of um, of details but what it does have is very well done this is a nice clip that's nicely engraved it has a very nice polished edge to it um, it's got a nice section and barrel you know um, everything about this is just very well done yeah, um, now if you like Lamy pens but you want something uh, more of an upgrade from a Safari, uh, and yeah, you know, this is a, this is more expensive than an All Star. This is uh, this is studio or above studio territory slightly. Um, this is a great pen, and um, it's discontinued. So, you know, if you get one of these, you're not going to see too many people in the future with them. You know, you're going to see a lot more studios. You're going to see Lamy 2000s. You may even see a Scholar or two, but you're not going to see a lot of Aeons. Um, unfortunately. Anyway, this one is currently inked up with Diamine um, Ruby. We're gonna just uh, do a little writing here with this real quick. Move that up there. Alright. One thing, because um, because the section is this doesn't contour like it would be on um, uh, Safari, uh, this has um, uh, this may roll in your hands, so be careful about that. I'm going to pause for one second here. All right, we're back. Pause for a moment. Now we're going to do a little writing here. All right. This is very comfortable in the hand. I like this nib. It's not an Aeon nib, but it's a Lamy nib, and they're very nice. Um, this is Diamine Ruby ink, which I like quite a lot. Um, got some nice shading to it. Lamy Aeon. Pardon the terrible handwriting. I'm going to be saying that a lot. Mommy medium nib. Okay. And then we're just going to do a little box. A little sheeting in here. So you can see the ink. 
but this is a comfortable pen. You know, this is, if you want something to take to the office, this would be a great pen. However, I've been advised that this pen is not necessarily great for everyday carry. You have to baby this a little bit. Um, someone I talked to on Reddit mentioned they had one they tossed in their bag, and after a couple months, it looked terrible. The finish scratched up. The pen was dented. This is an aluminum pen. It's not stainless steel. If you're going to carry it with you often, put it in a case and be careful with it. You know, this is uh, this is not uh, this is not a safari you can just toss around. But you know, if you want something nice at, uh, at the office. Um, or something a little fancy for yourself, uh, you could do worse. So, but yep, very comfortable pen, very nice. All right, we're gonna cap this one, and there we go. And we're gonna take the blue one here, which is exactly the same pen, just different finish. You know, everything I like about that one, about the other one, I like here. So you've got the uh, got the spring loaded clip. You got the engraving. See if you can focus on that. Yeah, got the Lamy engraving on it. Have the uh, uh, the polished beveled edge there. So this one actually has a Lamy medium nib on it. So and this one is currently inked with Lamy turquoise. So let's go ahead here and uh, now this ink yeah I think is absolutely gorgeous and underrated as well and it's just a beautiful ink and this Aeon nib is definitely a little smoother than a regular um, than a regular uh, Lamy nib mm -hmm. I did that in the wrong order should have would have put A on first and then the ink type. I was really excited about the turquoise here. But, you know, so let's go ahead. Oop. Right now. Right, let's move this over here. Love this ink. But this is a very smooth writer. It's very comfortable. It's a lovely pen. Oh, I'm going to move that back a little bit there. Um. But I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, you'll either like this pen or you won't. If you prefer the, studio, the looks of the studio, uh, the studio is a great pen. I, I think this is a better value. Uh, I think, um, let's go ahead and cap this. So, I, I like the clip on this better than the studio. This has a spring-loaded clip. It's got a uh, Lamy engraved on it, which where the studio is printed. Um, I like the shape of this clip, much more traditional uh, than the studio. Uh, it feels right in hand. Uh, the studio is a great pen, and lots of people love it for good reasons. But I think for the fact that you get this about the same cost for a studio, uh, or you can, uh, and this is a little more exclusive, I think, because it's going to be uh, it's a discontinued model. Uh, given the choice, here's the thing: I bought the studio. It's a nice pen. I didn't buy another. I bought this, and after I bought this, I liked it so much, I bought this. So that's all I can tell you about. Now, these are, I like these, these are great pens, get them all you can. Um, that's my advice. Um, you can find them on a lot of places for like 60 bucks right about right now. That might that price may go up, may go down, as people try to get rid of stock or to become more scarce. If you're in the market for a pen in that price range, you like Lamy pens, um, get an A on. So, anyway, this has been Zombiticus. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day.